Hi, it's Lois here. Um, I haven't filmed myself for a while, so I'm a bit rusty. So let's practice um, and let's sketch fast and loose with watercolour in the Ron Ransom way. This is the sketch that I'm going to be demonstrating. Um, autumn's on its way, so let's try and paint autumn. First of all, I'm going to use the Hake brush to wash over the sky area with a very dilute um, raw sienna, just to tint the paper and just to wet it to make it nice and easy to get a lovely plain autumnal sky. Now this is ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson, just quite a weak mix with a little bit of water added towards the bottom just to allow it to diffuse downwards and uh, become a graduated wash, a little bit lighter towards the bottom. Now I'm simply just going to put some fairly thick light red paint with a little tiny bit of Payne's Grey in it, a little tiny bit of raw sienna in it too. I'm just going to put that across the horizon line just to indicate some trees in the distance in their autumn foliage. Nothing fancy, just trying to get back into practice as it's always very awkward um, filming. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and painting at the same time. Um, right, now some Payne's Grey for some shadows in the trees and just straighten off the bottom a little tiny bit. A little bit of dry brush just across the ground. Um, a few sort of not quite horizontal lines with slight diagonal slants to them in the various colours that we've got there, just to sort of set up a forest floor, so to speak, or, or, or a clearing, a forest clearing. So as this is a fast and loose sketch, there's no detail, it's just, just suggestions of detail. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, it's uh, just raw sienna, Payne's grey, light red. I think there's a little bit of burnt umber in the mix as well. And that's all I'm using, various amounts and thicknesses. Just playing with it until I kind of like what I see. The intention is, as you saw in the photograph at the beginning to place some trees just off center towards the left side a small stand of trees in their autumn foliage just using the tips of the hake maybe to suggest a few bushes or sticks and twigs and then use the card corner of a credit card any sort of card loyalty card just to scrape off a little bit of paint um, just to indicate trunks and branches in the distance. It makes quite a nice effect if you don't overdo it, which I think I have done a bit here, but it's all good practice. Right, we use the rigger brush now just to pull up a few blades of grass or bushes, sticks and twigs and undergrowth all around the area where I'm thinking of putting in the small stand of trees. So I'm just setting up that area a little bit. Doesn't matter what you do there, anything will do, any sort of marks that indicate undergrowth. Again, using the rigger. I'm using Payne's Grey here with a little bit of um, burnt umber in it. Just pulling up long thin trunks of the trees and branches. I'm trying to get just a nice simple shape of a few trees together here.
flicking off at the end with the rigger so that the brush strokes become tapered towards the end, indicating the thinner branches. It's a bit difficult to do, but with practice it's okay. You don't succeed here completely in getting the effect, but I think it's, well I hope it's showing you how to do it, and I'm sure if you paint along with me and try this out, I'm sure you do a much better job of this one than I have. I just balance it out with a few more branches, a few sticks and twigs. Maybe a few mid-ground trees, just in front of the background trees. And I put in again with the rigger brush. I don't want them to be quite as prominent as this front foreground stand of trees. So I'll dab that, the, the dark rigger work out a little tiny bit, I think. Just a few more twigs there. And then it's time to, yep, just dab a little bit of the dark paint out there. And then scrunch up the medium hake, or any hake, um, or you could use a foliage brush or a stippling brush. Scrunch it up and dip it in a mixture of raw sienna, light red, and just try and give the indication lightly of some leaf canopies, autumnal colours. Maybe get a bit of shadow in there, a bit on the distant trees as well. I'm not actually keen on this to be honest, I would rather keep my trees just bare skeleton trees, but it's probably because I'm not so good at putting on this foliage and I think it's a bit clumsy here, but as I say I'm warming up to autumn um, painting again. I haven't painted autumn for quite a while, so it takes a little bit of getting used to and a little bit of practice and that's what a watercolour sketch like this is all about, especially in the Ron Ranson way of sketching fast and loose. It's to have fun, it's to experiment and it's to learn. Try out different effects and see what works and what doesn't and then try that out in your next painting. Just a few more details here, maybe some light red sticks and twigs and then tone down a bit with some more Payne's Grey. I think we nearly have a finished painting. I hope you have a go at this. Um, I'm say, I, as I say, I'm sure you'll do a far better job than me. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments um, how you get on if you have a go at painting this. Thanks very much and see you soon. Bye.